Hello there peoples, this is GreenyXA, welcoming you back to the Green Vlog. Today is the 29th of September. Uh, all I want to do today, it's a late night, late night vlog, even you when recording, simply because, well, I've been playing a lot of Ultra Display Girls and it is finally all finished. I'll get back to that in a sec. But, the main thing I wanted to do, a parcel arrived today. <laughs> so I wanted to do a quick unboxing of it, if you can consider just a like taking off the cardboard and unboxing, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is what I've been waiting for. Danganronpa 3 came out today, or V3. Danganronpa 3 is the anime apparently, which I haven't seen yet, but... Oh, PS4 version I went for. The Vita version could have gone for, but I prefer, if I have an option, to have it on the big screen because I never leave the house with my cons with my handouts anyway. So I have been looking forward to this for so long. But I still it's I still gotta read Danganronpa If, which isn't really that important, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And watch Danganronpa 3, the anime, the two that coincide with each other. So I cannot wait. I know nothing about it. I've been avoiding spoilers for so long. And I'm really excited to check out Danganronpa V3. What's that subtitle? Killing Harmony. Of course it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently it's something entirely new and something that you don't need to have played any of the other games for. But if you've played 1 and 2 before, I think you'll know where you're getting yourself into and it might be better. I don't know. I haven't played this game, so I don't really know. But yeah, that's what I've been waiting to... I've been waiting to open that package all day, that parcel. It's been hard work because I've been wanting to see it, but no. Now I finally have, because <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to open it during this vlog, and I wanted to be it to be a nighttime one. Even if looking at the preview window now, it doesn't actually look like it's nighttime. But <laughs> oh well. <sighs> so there we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, the other day for my birthday vlog, it was. I had something off my mate. Where it was all in like little pieces, and at the time I was dropping them all and all that. Well, I thought it was Ultima Weapon because it was all black things, but this is what it's like all made up. It was quite tricky to make up actually. This is what it's like all made up. Ah! Oh no, his arm fell off. Hold on. Oh, and the other one. Oh shit. Of course, that one now. God, get in there. There we go, one. It is quite tricky to put together. You have to really. No way it's going. And push. Push. Oh, no, the head's the come off now. Here we go. That'll do. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it actually is. Uh, Bizarro Sephiroth, I think that's his name, right? Where your party can split into different parties for the end bosses. Yeah. I really like it quite a bit. And it turned out better than if it was Ultima Weapon. <laughs> Ultima Weapon actually looks quite bland, I think. But Bizarro Sephiroth, was, or whichever, whatever his name is, is very interesting looking. So, yeah. There we go. That's what it looks like all made up. Oh, uh, like I said, I finished off Ultra Despair Ghost, Danganronpa. And, okay, here's my overall opinion of it. Mini review. Although, not going to be as good as a review. <laughs> it's... Ah. Right, okay, so if you like Danganronpa, it does expand on things outside of the killing games a little bit. Show how Tower City is, is dealing with all the despair and all the fighting and war that's going on between the kids and the adults. But it repeats the gameplay elements all the way through and it's not that fun. After you get past the first chapter and you know what's coming, it's tedious by that point, I found. So... Overall, it's not as good as the main games. And as well as that, they repeat the same dialogue quite a lot. Like, they'd say, Oh, I'm scared of the dark. One of the characters is scared of the dark. So, uh, Oh, I'm scared of the dark. And then they go into the next subway section. Oh, this dark is too much. I'm scared of the dark. And they literally just keep saying the same things over and over all the way through the game. Every time you go into an arcade room, which is like the mini game section, they say, uh, oh look, another minigame, another arcade. Oh look, it's one of those arcades again. There's another arcade, there. 
<laughs> Literally, <laughs> I just keep saying it. And I didn't like that either. The characters didn't really hold much punch. I didn't really care about the villains. I, I don't know. Overall, it was just a bit shit. It was no, it was very average. Okay, because the music does sort of add to it. I do like the music of the game. One of the tracks feels very Persona 5-ish. Um, it's got a bit of lyric to it. If you've played Ultra Despair Girls, you might know which one I'm talking about. I don't know. But either way, it was it was an experience. I've played it now and it didn't really add much to Danganronpa. I don't think you need to play it in order to understand 2 any better or anything like that. And 3 is just going to be moving on completely. Again, I haven't seen the anime yet, so once I see that, maybe Ultra Display Girls will build into that a bit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But there we go. That's about it, really. I... That's what I think of it. It feels like... You know those anime games, like Attack on Titan or uh, Sword Art Online? They're all just... Just trying to build on the universe, but giving you quite average gameplay, just to keep you going throughout it. That's what this felt like. It didn't feel like it should have been a game. It could just been a visual novel with a lot of the dialogue cut out a bit or condensed a bit and it would have been fine. That's how I feel about it. So yeah, I'll probably end up selling the game now, <laughs> honestly. But it was okay. I, I enjoyed bits of it. Oh well. <laughs> you got to try things on there to know. So there we go. Uh, speaking of another game that I've started yesterday or last night, it was one of my birthday games, Fire Power Tetris. It is really good, just as good as the demo. I haven't tried the online yet, God knows if that works very well, no Nintendo and all that. But the demo worked really well, so that's fine. And Tetris DS worked really well, now it's Nintendo, so that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I've tried the adventure mode, the story mode, and that is such... It's such... A lot of nostalgia for me. It reminds me how it's all uh, designed and everything. It reminds me of Best Move 2 for PS1. That is where the nostalgia comes from for me. It's like the cartoony Japanese ness. It's very young aimed, like kids will enjoy the story. Um, and it's just got puz puzzles in between the story bits, and that's about as far as it goes. So far, I'm on Act 2 of that, and it's like it's like, whenever these little girls play, or characters, play Pyro Pyro together, they end up teleporting to other places. Apparently that's like, this common thing for them, so I think it might happen in, in other games for them. Uh, but this time they teleport over to a spaceship which has all the Tetris characters on it. And then, at the end of Act 1, the spaceship crashes and they end up back in the Pyro Pyro world. But then the Tetris characters are these, so we're seeing them all mixing together and all that. So that's the whole point of this game. Apparently it's out on PS4 as well, I didn't know that, so, but at least I got a new Switch game, so I'm quite happy about that, because there aren't many of them yet. No, <laughs> not yet, but there's more to come, Super Mario Odyssey I'm looking forward to, but yeah, I recommend this a lot, even just for the single player, I love it. I'm finding Pyro Pyro hard because I've never played it before, uh, and there's little challenges where you can do better at the story challenges. But uh, the Tetris I'm pretty good at since I used to play Tetris DS a whole lot and we used to all play it at school and I used to play it online all the time when I got home. You know I had a lot of practice with it so I'm enjoying that a lot but the Pyro Pyro not so much because I, I haven't got many memories of it. So there we go. Yeah that's about it. I think there was something else I wanted to talk about but God knows. <laughs> God knows. I can't remember what it is, so well, I have to try and figure that out, won't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad Ultra Despair Goals is finished. There's a weight off my mind, a bloody huge weight, because I didn't enjoy it completely. So next step, I gotta finish off the last couple of days worth of three, 358 two days for Kingdom Hearts, and then that'll be finished. But I want to go back to Danganronpa if it's a light novel, it's something to read, it's not a game, you know, it'll be something different to try, because I've never read a light novel before, I, not that I know of anyway, unless it was so polished that it felt like a proper novel, I don't know, but whatever, whatever, I'm going to read that next with the Danganronpa stuff anyway. So, it's been Greeny XI, hope you've enjoyed this vlog about pretty much nothing, 
I'll see you again in a bit. Tomorrow might be the last vlog, you know, um, of this week's vlogs where I've been doing it daily and regularly. Which, I mean, the parents come on, coming home off all days. I'm going back to work on Monday. I might be able to get one out Sunday as well. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. So, you know. Anyway, thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.